so um, I hope you're excited for today's video. I actually just got a haircut, so I'm getting used to it. Um, it's shorter, and I also flipped my part um, to this side, so I'm getting used to it. Um, it's not cooperating as much as I'd like it to, but um, if you don't switch your part, you're actually supposed to every couple of years um, so that your hair grows out nicely um, when you're older and it doesn't start balding on one side or anything like that. So make sure you flip it up. But today I have a ton of empties. So here's my bag of empties and I showed it to you in my makeup collection video that I'll link down below. That was my last video. And I don't know about you guys, but I really like snooping through people's stuff. Raise your hand if you like snooping through people's things. Is it just me? But I like love looking through people's bathroom cabinets and at their makeup and like just anything at their food, at their fridge. So today is a chance for you guys to see all the products that I've used up. And I'll do just a quick mini review if I liked it or if I repurchased it or not. So let's get into it. So first thing I see is this body cream from Bath & Body Works in pink chiffon. And I actually really liked this scent. Um, I probably wouldn't get it again just because I'd like to try a new scent, but I definitely recommend it um, for anyone. And I love the Bath & Body Works body cream. Next is some Tresemme hair gel. I've actually purchased this a few times. It's one of my favorites. It's pretty um, inexpensive and does a good job um, keeping my hair curls defined if you use gel. Um, it comes in a good size. Some of the gels are like really little and I think kind of just like a rip off, but this is a good one. Um, next, I have some St. Ives lotion. It's daily hydrating, just kind of their... Um, everyday you know plain lotion and I actually didn't really like this um I didn't even use it all up but at the top here um the product actually started to turn yellow which I think is probably not a very good sign um and I opened the bottle up and it's like all yellow inside and it was white originally so I'm actually just getting rid of this and not going to repurchase this I usually get the big um Vaseline kind of lotion and I like that one much better Next, um, I have some Pond's Cold Cream. I love this to take off my makeup. I've purchased it several and several times, um, and I definitely recommend it. Um, let's see what else I have. And here I have some Secret Deodorant. This is one of my favorites. Secret's awesome. Definitely keeps me smelling fresh. Um, next, I have some oil-free pink grapefruit um, Neutrogena um, face wash and I purchased this several times. This is actually won um, Allure's Reader's Choice Award so it's it's a really good face wash. I really like it. does a good job of keeping your skin clear. Pretty gentle, not too harsh. Um, so next I have some body scrub from Bath & Body Works in the set Sea Island Cotton. I don't know if they make this anymore. I, every time I go there I, I can never find it and I'm really mad. This is one of my favorite scents and I love it. And the supercharged body scrub's awesome. I've already gotten another one that I've purchased in another scent. It's great to exfoliate your feet and your body. I, just, I love this stuff. It nice, has a nice foaming sensation as well. So next, let's see, next I have this Bedhead um, Moisture Maniac uh, shampoo and I, I like this okay, um, I'm definitely not going to repurchase it. I think I got it on sale at Ulta for like $6 for this whole thing which is a good deal. Um, but I just didn't, I mean, I used the whole thing, obviously, and it was fine, um, but definitely not my favorite. Did a good job cleaning, but um, definitely didn't detangle very well, didn't smell that awesome, so really didn't have anything super awesome to say about it. Next, I have some Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream, and this thing's huge, and you can see I finished it all. Ooh, the lid's just going everywhere. So... Um, this is great if you have thicker hair. I wouldn't recommend this for anyone with th fine or thin hair. Um, it's awesome to put in your hair just as a leave-in conditioner. Um, you can use it in the shower or you can use it for a styling or a pre-styler. I really like this and it's really inexpensive. At, um, I usually get these at Walgreens or Target and this whole thing is like 
four dollars or something really really cheap and then next i have a scrub from saint eyes and it's the blemish control green tea scrub um this was okay actually i a beauty blogger recommended this but i didn't think it worked very well um it's mostly supposed to help with breakouts and calming your redness and i didn't really notice either thing so i would i'm not going to repurchase this and i wouldn't really recommend it um, next I have a Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. I love this mascara. It's awesome. It's one of my favorites. I have an awesome post all about this mascara that I will link below. I can't say enough good things about that. Next I have a soap. So this is one of the part of the Bath & Body Works Endless Summer collection and it's awesome. I love Bath & Body Works soap. It's what I use in my bathroom. So definitely love that. Um, Next, let's see, I had, oh, this was a Birchbox sample. This was from Derm E. It was Hydrating Night Cream. It's a vegan brand, and I actually really like this a lot, and I'm considering buying the big one. So not too thick, um, really moisturizing, an all-natural product. Next, I have some cleansing oil from MAC, or sorry, cleansing water. So I actually i really liked this but um i recently tried a different brand ren um which i featured in my last favorites and i i did really like this one i just wanted to change it up but this is really good you just put a little bit of this on a cotton pad and like on the morning in the mornings or in the evenings and you're being kind of lazy it's just a nice face wash and gets rid of makeup but i did like the matte kind but um i wanted to try a different brand See, next I actually got this from when I went to Lucky Fab. It is a body wash and it is from Rituals and it's a foaming shower gel sensation. And this was re this was awesome. I really like this product. Um, it smelled really nice. It was white lotus and green tea. And um, when you pumped it out, it was a gel and then it would turn into a foam. So really awesome for cleaning, for cleaning your body as well as shaving. I liked it for that as well. This is one of my all-time, this is my all-time favorite styling gel for curly hair. It's the Catwalk Curls, Rank, Curls Rock Amplifier. I love this. If you have curly hair and you haven't tried it, you need to go out and get it. It's my favorite. I'm not going to buy anything else, so <laughs> that's what I have to say about that. And next I have some Simple Wipes. These, again, I, I like these. They're, they're, um, they're simple and they um, don't irritate my face. They're good for sensitive skin to take my makeup off. So I've definitely repurchased those several times. Um, next, let's see, I actually have some, a makeup item here, some Dream Matte Powder. Um, this is from the brand Maybelline, and I actually didn't really like this. Um, a beauty blogger recommended this, but to me it um, was just okay, and I used it up like really fast. It hardly had any product in it. Um, compared to some of my other powders that I have. I think I have a, yeah, so I have um, another powder in here. I have my L'Oreal True Match um, powder, and this one is so much better than this. I did not like this. Um, this one is one of my all-time favorites. Um, it comes with a lot of product, and it lasts a while, and it does a really good job lasting on your face, um, keeping you matte, you know, for hours and hours, whereas the other one didn't really do that. Let's see what else I have in here. So next I have um, a volume boosting spray from Catwalk. Again, it's a, kind of one of, it's a different line of theirs. It's like their volume collection. And this was okay. It definitely wouldn't work well on most hair types. It comes out in a liquid actually, like a liquid spray and you kind of put it in and then you like push up your hair. So it worked okay for me, but it, it wouldn't work well for anyone with fine hair or really straight hair because I can imagine it making it kind of greasy and weird looking um for me it worked okay um but I I didn't like love it I think for the price it's pretty expensive and um I didn't see that amazing of results from it so let's see what else I have in here I have um some julep um american beauty volumizing mascara didn't really like this um i used it on my bottom lashes because it had a, a cool i will say it had a cool brush it is good separator but um the formula the ma mascara formula itself was not very good and um i didn't really like it that much let's see what else i have in here i have a small their benefits their real mascara little sample i love this this is one of my favorite mascaras 
um, this Maybelline the Rocket one is actually a great dupe for this. So be sure to check out my review below to hear more about that. And let's see, we're getting to the end here. I have some Clarisonic heads that I've used up. These are the delicate skin one. And if you have sensitive skin, I would definitely get these over the sensitive skin ones, actually. I think these worked a lot better. Um, and get them in the combo pack because it's, it's a much better value. Next, um, just a little sample from Birchbox. This is the Not Soap Radio um, body wash. This was good to use, but again, it was it was just kind of a normal body wash. It smelled good, but um, I probably wouldn't just buy the regular size just because I think it's like $20. And for me, but spending that on body wash is a little unnecessary. Um, next, I have some Josie Marin Argan Oil. And I like this product, but I don't think I'm... A huge fan of it like everybody else's um, I I like to use it on my hair and my skin but I don't really notice any drastic improvements um, and I don't really like these applicators I don't know if this is just me but mine got really sticky and gross and um, it was like the product was seeping up into the applicator and it just wasn't very good Next, I have some Dr. Jart BB cream, and this is stuff is amazing. I'm definitely going to buy the full size of my Birchbox points. I love it. It's probably one of the best BB creams I've ever tried. And then we're getting down to the end here. Looks like we have just a couple things. This is some agave healing oil that I got from Beautycon, and... This stuff smells so good, and I do think it does a good job of putting shine to your hair. Um, so I'm definitely going to look into this product. I'd never heard of it before, but I definitely really like this sample. It was only enough for two uses, but um, it was still, I still really liked it. And next I have some Beauty Protector. Um, this was a repair mask, again, from my Birchbox. I love this. This was good, but not as good as um, the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Leave-In Mask, which is way cheaper. Um, that stuff's my favorite. This this was okay, but um, again, not as good as some of my all-time favorites. Okay, and it looks like the bag is empty now, so thank you guys for watching my end of summer empties video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you want more details on any of what I thought of the products, and check out my blog, WeezyWee.com, if you haven't in a while, and please subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.